It's uh, it takes a lot to battle back from injuries. It takes a lot to uh, to be on the sidelines, close to the action, calling fights, and then you know, um, not being able to get in there. But, you know, those kind of things can either make you break you, man. And I, I just thank God for the opportunity to push past on, you know, and, and, and just to just to grind it out, man. When nobody was around, no cameras, no fans, nobody grinding away, working, no date on the book. And, and not just rehab. And I think sometimes people think that the misconception is you kind of laying on your back doing some, some exercises. Like I, I would have a three, four hour day you know, rehabbing and then doing other stuff to stay fit and stay in shape. So when I got the green light to uh, to get back in the gym, I was fit and ready. And I think that's the first thing people said when they saw me in LA. Was, Man, you look lean, you look fit. I took, I took my time off very seriously. Andre, I know that this one situation is over. Yet. And I'm sure you've seen it a hundred times in boxing, you know, where the promoter and fighter have a little bit of a to-do, but you have to move past that. How difficult is that to, to just put that stuff behind you and then move forward with your career? Well, I think you ha you, you got you got to find a way to put it behind you, you know. And it's the old adage, it's not personal, it's business. And, um, you know, I think, I think uh, the story kind of got spun a certain way after the fact because, you know, anytime a... a a fighter stands up for himself and says, hey, there's a problem here. It goes to a commission or it goes to, you know, to a higher court. It's always looked at it like it's a bad thing for the fighter, like, you know, this ungrateful guy who is trying to get away for the wrong reasons. And, and, and like you mentioned, it's, it's behind us right now. And I don't want to get too much into it, but just know that if I, if I did that, it was for reasons that I felt strong about and for reasons that I really believe in. Uh, that being said, Though I disagree with, you know, the commission's decision, that's neither here nor there. We passed that, and, and, and we put our heads together, and we, you know, we get back to business. So it's just something you have to do. Andre, you have one of the longest winning streaks in sports. Period. Twelve years without a loss. How did you do it? And I just, I just love to, I love to win. I love to compete. I love to, uh, I love to win, man. It's, it's just as simple as that. It's no special formula. It's, you know, God blessed me with a talent, and and when I'm in a gym. Uh, when I'm running, um, even when I don't have a fight coming up, I try to make, I try to live like a fighter. I try to make my reps count. I don't wake up and say, oh, you know, coach, we got 10 rounds in the books today, sparring, I'm going to just do six. Like, I take my job very serious, and I just think that's a major thing that's benefited me in the ring. And then when we get in there, like I said, I just love to compete. There was a point where you weren't the favorite, you were the underdog. Was that easier, or is it easier when here's Andre Ward, one of the best pound for pound fighters, the gold medalist? Uh... <laughs> I could take it either way, to be honest with you, man. I could take it both ways. I, I really kind of disconnect from, you know, what, what's being said before a fight as I'm training, number one. And number two, um, I know that it could go either way. You know, I could fight. I could be the favorite today and then fight some guy who is built up as this monster and then I'll be the underdog again. So I, I take that with a grain of salt. I mean, it's really people's opinions and they're entitled to it. And I just leave it at that. I don't really get caught up in it either way. Because I know I got a job to do either way it goes. It's not like because I'm the favorite that that, that Saturday is going to be any easier or be a cakewalk. It's going to be the same type of deal. So I got to have the same mentality. Was this training camp any easier or any harder than the other ones? No, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't use easy. <laughs> with, with what we just went through. I think, you know, you know you had a good training camp when you're happy as hope. That's when you know you had a, a thorough training camp and you know that you made every single day count, and that's what we did. I'm happy training camp is over. I'm excited to showcase uh, and just remind the world who the super middleweight champion of the world.